Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're getting back into some Dark Siders 2, the Definitive Edition. We have our brand spanking, not new, probably recycled, used, got a little nut funk on it, ancient armor here, which is awesome looking. And we might have leveled up, so let's take a look. I want to just see here. We didn't level. Fine. So I think we're getting close to wrapping up this part of the uh, the game with the Guardian here. So we're going to go through here, smash up some stuff. See if we can't get on to the next part of the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope everybody's having a great day today. It is a lovely Wednesday morning, which is, of course, new comic book day. Okay, we see the piece up there, but it looks a little corrupted, doesn't it? Let's hop off this first and investigate. I did see something over here to break. No, I didn't. I did. I didn't. I did. I thought I, thought I did. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I know there's probably going to be some boss fights coming. So hopefully they're not too nasty and we're for sure going to have to fight the Guardian Boy eventually. What is this? This looks like some kind of some kind of corruption deal. I'm not sure. Maybe that's always been part of it. We'll find out. Alright, so let's just get in there, destroy all this shit, and see what's cracking. Okay, let's just break apart all this stuff. Because there's no doubt going to be something that we got to do. Because that's the game. Uh, we do see a spot to put our balls in. Ball, rather. So, uh, we're going to roll them in there. So, as of recording this, our little channel here is at 499 subscribers. That is pretty cool. Oh. I'm just going to smack these boys off the wall. Just in case that's what you're supposed to do. Probably, probably got to, uh smack that guy up there somehow. Or not. Whoa, what are we supposed to hit here? Okay, well let's just let him sit there. We'll climb up the wall and see what we see. Doesn't look like we can go across yet. So we're going to need to do some... Ooh, there's some funky parkour here. Death grip. Nailed it. First try. First try. Okay, so how are we supposed to get over there? This looks scary. Oh, wow, okay. So this is going to be pretty tricky. So I started playing uh, Nino, or okay, just just just, just die, because that wasn't the jump button. Dang it! So I started playing uh, Nino Kuni, The Wrath of the White Witch, which is like Studio Ghibli Harry Potter, which is pretty awesome, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot, actually. So the question is, am I going to play it for the for the channel, like, a lot? And I still don't know the answer to that. And I don't know the answer to that because last night I tried to play some Devil May Cry 3. And the part I was at really kind of sucked. So I'm, I'm kind of, like, hesitant now. I'm like, okay. Damn, dude, this is going to be hard. Okay. So we gotta get up there, yeet across the wall, and then run across it 
and be like super, super calculated. Which is fine. It's nothing we can't handle. We've been dark siding for a long time. In fact, I'm kind of super stoked because uh, Mr. Cosmic Crash of Crash Pack Gaming just posted today his own little Darksiders video. He'll be playing Darksiders 3, which I'm like pretty stoked to see actually. Okay, just stay along the wall, dude. Don't fall. See, dude, first try. Easy. All right, let's save because we don't know what the heck we're going to run up against. I also experimented with uh, moving my Witcher save over to Steam and trying to play it there. And that actually worked really well. I was pretty surprised, actually. And um, the thing that surprised me the most is I don't actually want to play that on PC. <laughs> I thought I would, but when I did all the, like, when I was messing around with, like, the controls and all that... I just was not feeling it, dude. I was like, the Switch version is just way more accessible. Yeah, dude, it's... Something's messed up. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't want to skip that. Oh, Karn. Come back. The Corrupted Custodian, dude. All right, let's see. What do we got to do here? Okay, I don't want to... Okay. Our boy does a lot of damage, but my god. Are we gods in this armor? That's not what I wanted to do. And now I have no wrath. All right, let's, let's not shit the bed here. We can get out of that. We're just gonna sit here and hit him in the hit him in the nutsack, dude. Where's he going? Okay, that's not the dodge that we wanted. You know what? Having that grip there, big fan. Okay, what what you gonna do, dude? Okay, that hurt a little bit, but we're okay. Get out the big axe. Smack him in the butt. Oh, I didn't have enough time to do my thing. Whoa. Okay, that's aggressive. And we're just gonna smack him in the axe. Smack him with the axe. Try to get out of the way. Fail miserably, but that's okay because our armor carrying us through, dude. So even though our playing is bad, we are just decimating. Down he goes, man. But he was a noble steed in his time. Ooh. We got us a shirt. Although I don't really want to put on any other shirts because I have so much cool stuff now. What did, what did I get? Who the... No. Not sure what I picked up. Oh, I picked up this one. Man, nothing beats this Goodwill Maker armor. It's just so good. Okay, well, how do we get back? Oh, we don't have to. Wait, didn't I have to go through a bunch of... St oh, the door opened. I got you. Okay. So I think this part, he, what, he slaps it in, and then it becomes corrupted? Maybe? Then we have to fight the big boy? That's gonna be kinda scary. Alright, dude. Today's coffee is brought to you by Blue Mountain Coffee Company, a nice gift from a friend of mine. He sends it to me once or twice a year, and it's delicious. They fresh roast their beans and ship it within like a day. Put it in, Shrek. 
All right. Here it is, dude. What we've been working towards all this time. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't look like he's in his right state of mind. Okay, get out of the way. Dude. This kid is six white claws deep on Taco Turbo Boner Tuesday. He just doesn't know where he's at. He's blacking out. And he's leaving. He's running off. You ever had a friend that does that on like drinking night? They just kind of take off, track down the guardian. Oh crap. Karn was the play. What have we done? We'll have to divide and conquer either. You look for the guardian, and I'll see to the others. You go on without me, Arsman. All right, brother. Godspeed. Okay, so we go here, and this should be our exit, like right over here. This will take us out. Ooh, there's a there's a room over there that I haven't been able to get into. Yeah, what's over there? Liquid hot magma. That's what's there, dude. Is there anywhere to actually run over there? No. Let's go. So hopefully this is what we're supposed to do. I mean, he left. We should leave. Okay, I see our little point there. Okay, we're in Tristone. Can I call... I can't can't call the horse, dude. We do got some money. Look at that, dude. 10, 10k. Oh, shit. There he is. He's not gonna be happy, bro. I think that's him. It looks like him. I don't know. Maybe that's our other friend. Like the big tree beard guy. Hello? You have my attention. Greetings, large so stone tree beard. Time has come. Wake up, little one. There is work to do. What kind of work? Wake up, okay. little one. There... Bro, I'm death. I don't think you can you can call me things like that. You don't get to call me chief or, or hey there, little buddy, you know? Alright. Let's go talk to the people. I've arrived. The Guardian's run wild. He's gone mad, horseman. Idar doesn't know. Uh oh. Browse around. We have new items. Hmm. Please sell me some of your wares. <clears throat> Although I doubt anything is better than what I'm wearing. Although I could buy some potions. Should I? Let's buy some potions. Oh wait, I don't want to sell those. Ah, crap. Tell me you're selling those. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everything here is way expensive. I can literally buy nothing, dude. Okay. What about, what about... Alright. Eh, good talk. Yes, thank you. Ooh, I see snake mail. Well, the Diablo 3 season is going to start on the... 13th. Maybe 13th or the 12th, somewhere around there. Still undecided what class we want to play. I think I'd like to be a monk, dude. I gotta get reacquainted with all the changes. I've been taking a break from it. What's the point of even having that damn thing? Nobody ever sends me messages kind of shit really oh my god this whole place is on fire I just noticed 
Not good. Not good at all. Hey, buddy. Some shit went down. It's kind of my fault. No. This can't be. He's all messed up, dude. The stone bastard. Tell me where to find the Guardian. Head to the plains outside the city. And hurry. Adar is waiting for your boat. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. You know, I could use some moves. Except I'm too much of a laymass to actually understand how to use them. Ooh, this one. Death summons the Reaper? Wow. That actually looks really cool. I should really try to use some of those moves. I told myself I'd use some of the moves and I haven't. And it's just, just bad. Oh god. I don't remember this little thing. What's this little passageway? What was this? I'm just going to run down here for a second. You don't think there's a Vulgrim down here? Or is this the way we're supposed to go? Might make sense. Uh, is this it? Oh, never mind. This is where it all began, dude. Duh. That's why I don't remember it, because it's been so long. That's like where it all started. So I have a feeling we'll probably transport to another world, like, when we're done here, right? Because, I mean, that was kind of the premise. We got, like, transported here. To the tree of... To, to, to find the tree of life, or... Talk to it to get some info. Man, I'm starting to feel real awful that I that this place in shambles. I'm still amazed I don't have double jump yet. Or at least the glide. But at least I have my death grip. Alright, so this is probably going to be a nasty boss boy. Let's save it. Really, we couldn't, uh... We couldn't just make it easy? Make one door out here? Well, I didn't want this episode to be super long, but... Dude, we're at the Guardian. You can't fuck around with that. You gotta fight him. Did I mention I'm super stoked to see the Darksiders 3 play from, uh... Crash Pack Gaming? Because I am. No, I've said that twice now. And we're loading. Okay. Definitely want to save here. There, perfect save spot. Holy shit, that guy's big. I would back off, dude. Now's not a time to be a hero. No. Oh, shit, dude. My man got smashed. He's alive. Make He's bleeding. Apparate out, dude. Do something. Okay, what what's going on? You, there you go. My help, horseman. Do your worst. It's game time. Okay, that hurt a lot. How am I supposed to fight this son of a bee? He's so big. Well, I should have known that wasn't going to work. All right. Okay, how do I how do I get up him? 
Well, can I climb the hammer? Okay, let's get... We need the horse out, dude. Alright, we gotta think here. Oh, okay. He's got... He's got bomb boys on his arm. We need our gun. Good god, that hurts so bad. Push R to enter aim mode. Right. Thanks. Too bad I'm, like, dying. Bring me out the gun, dude. We're back. Well, I didn't leave. I went and took a pee. So this is our third third run at the Guardian Boy. Okay. No mistakes. How do I avoid this hammer? There's a very small radius here where he does shit. Can I, like, is it possible for me to, like, dodge out of the way, you think? I don't think so. Why don't we just wait for it to come down? It's like, I need to be, like, here. And then he's, like, so when he starts swinging it, and then I start moving, and then I'm gonna hit Dust's boost right now. It's too fast, dude. Thank you. I knew that I needed to hit aim mode. This is arguably the most frustrating part of trying to do this type of stuff with limited time. Because it's almost disheartening. Because you want to play games, and you want to have fun, and you want to record your little videos that nobody really watches. And then, you get to bosses like this, and it's just so unfair, man. Because I don't have the time in the world to beat this guy, right? I needed it to be done, like, a half an hour ago, so I can move on with my life. I mean, I got work to do. Alright. New plan. What's the new plan? I think we just go in. Maybe we go towards the elbow. How close can we get to this guy when he swings the hammer? Let's see. So he's here. So if he starts swinging, I'm going to start moving. Like, I want to go straight for his feet right now. Well, it kind of worked. God damn, dude. The fucking radius on this. And the shitty part is, I was able to actually get past this part before. I was. And now, I can't do it. And it just, it just, it's... Alright. That's some bullshit speak. You are a winner. This here's a metaphor for life. It beats you, and it beats you. And what are you going to do is the question. Right? Things are going bad. So what? You figure it out. You hit that son of a bitch right in the arm and you blow that shit off. And then, you come over here on your horse, you jump off, you get up there, you keep smacking it, dude. You know what? You're gonna get in three hits, that's all you needed. You're gonna learn, right? Things are gonna go bad. That's just how it goes. And you might get a small victory, and then life smacks you back down again. But you get back up. Every time. And then, you learn something else. You almost get out of the way. Oh my god, and then you sneak in a little hit right there, dude. Like that. Because just when you thought... Oh god, I don't have my thing anymore. 
Oh no. I screwed up. I don't have my death grip. Come on, dude. We gotta get our hit in. Dang. We messed it up. Okay, we need some space. Some space between us and the turd. Alright, swing it. There we go. Get out of the way. If we snuck one in before, we could do it again. Yeah. Okay, now I need to bring up my death grip. Give it to me, please. That's the one. Get up there. Smack him. There it is, dude. Phase two, the arm cannon. Be smart about it. It's gonna come towards you. I'm gonna sprint out of the way. Okay, it's levitating, so you're gonna need to get behind the boss here. And it's gonna come straight at him. Yes. Now his arm's gonna go down. So we gotta go over here. Get off the horse. This is all in our parkour abilities, dude. Okay. So we kinda need to lean off here. There we go. We just gotta do that a couple more times, I think. And we'll do it. Don't get cocky. Remember. We're here as a metaphor for life. Which means, as soon as you think you've won, you've probably already lost because of some stupid mistake. Okay, it's up. We're gonna run through his crotch. That thing's gonna give us another opportunity. Come on, dude. There it is. Where's he going down at? Oh god, we got close. So, we're on dust. We're off the... Not dust. Dust is the bird. Okay, we're off the horse. This could be it. One, two, three. Okay, second one down. He's got a third inside his noggin. We might have to deal with that somehow. I don't know how. But he's got no legs. Oh, he's falling. Now the that was an opportune moment to strike. Oh, I don't have to do any of this, dude. He's doing it himself. The reaping dude. <sighs> Evade counter. If death makes a particularly skillful dodge of an opponent's attack, a flicker of his reaper form appears to strike back at the attacker. That's cool. Ooh. The Dark Talons. The dead lord loyal to the de deposed king, Argul, forged these claws from the heart of a glacier. Wow, cool. When Argul was overthrown, many of the lieutenants were destroyed and the Dark Talons were thought lost forever. These weapons seethe with the essence of deep winter cold and every strike freezes the blood of its victims. Those enemies that the claws freeze into mobility. Ooh. So you freeze the boys. Then you continue smacking them. You had no choice but to destroy him. But now how are we gonna fight the corruption? The tree of life is to be cleared. I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. But at what cost, brother? 
This will take more than a small effort. Probably get a uh, get away from their dust. They won't survive this. I am a maker. That task defines my very purpose, and the reaping of souls defines your own. There is no escaping it. My God, our man here is powerful as shit. Is he gone? Get to the tree now, Horseman. Your journey is far from over. You know, I read that guy all wrong in the beginning. I thought he was going to backstab us. some iron giant shit right here. Take it out on the corruption, brother. Imagine the, f the first march of the constructs, dude. Here we go. Smash that bitch. Wow, he took a full hit. Oh, that's no bueno. Somebody left a gift for me? Finally, the snake mail. Damn, dude. That was rough. But, the corruption has been purged. The tree of life, the path restored. And I feel pretty good about it. It was sad to lose our buddy, but you know what? I almost gave up there. It was like the Karn fight, dude. I was, my blood was, I was upset. I was definitely upset, not happy. And I should end this before we talk to the Tree of Life. As this is already super long. But let's just see what it has to say. Assuming we can just walk right up to it, dude. I, I don't know. I mean, we might as well. an interesting area. Okay. It's got some little... Oh, I've leveled up magically. Okay, here we go. Tree of life. Answers we need. Oh god, more shit to do. Can it just open? It's corrupted, dude. We're getting so you have come bearing your sin like a badge of honor. What do you seek, pale rider? The return of mankind <laughs> to a barren planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. 
That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Did I? Absalom. Oh, Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I earn corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it. Do I have to fight this guy right now? Please, no. Oh god. I, I, I don't think I have it in me for three boss battles in a freaking play session here. Definitely gonna save and take a break. When it's time, but let's see what the turd has in store for us. Why did we do that? Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it. Hmm. Who was war? So I, I created the corruption. So it's all kind of my fault, dude. The tree of death. Ah, the pale rider. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the dead kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the tree of life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, is that a pipe, bro? You have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Hmm. Not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Hmm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? I am actively I seeking my brother, big ass weapons, dude. Mm. Or that, yes, you know, whatever. I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the well of souls. What's the well of souls? Well of souls can restore humanity. And more. The well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. 
It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. Interesting. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Death Eventually, balances life, bro. It consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life mm -hmm. and in death. I am Hostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Wherever Hostagoth. Free of death portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim. And from the four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim. Became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree. Yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten. No, the Nephilim live on in you. True. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Oh. So, help you so I can, path. so I can use this portal many here to go back. Are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. So this is going to be like a hub between the worlds, dude. So I have no money. I mean, he's got some shit here. Oh, that's the cell. No, I don't want to do that. What can I buy? I can buy a big hammer. Ooh, that looks interesting. Am I level 12 now? Ooh. These look pretty cool. The Slayer's Polderon. Crit damage. Some Robies. Dude. Health potion. You can buy 10 now? Oh, never mind. They're just a thousand. At least he sells them. All right. Cool. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the serpent's peak and summon the eternal throne. Okay. There, the Lord of Bones slumbers. He will guide you to the well, or he will have your soul. Before you go, horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. Okay. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. Find the eternal throne, dude. Okay. And there's a lot of relics to find. Holy cow. Is this the portal back? Portal to the Forge Lands. Cool. Man. What an episode. If you've made it this far, bless you, dude. I know that time is a valuable resource, and I appreciate you hanging out, witnessing the struggle. I. Hopefully removed some of the earlier attempts at the big boss because it was just me being mad. And uh, when we come back, we're going to go back to the Forge Lands, check our snake mail, 
sell some stuff, upgrade our character. And it's going to be a lot of housekeeping. And I'm going to record it all because that's, that's chill stuff to do. And uh, then we will go and find the Lord of Bones, man. Look at this. Our pathway is treacherous. But now that we don't have any more corruption guys, I guess corruption's still here. So we're probably going to have some of the same enemy types. We'll find out. But the new guy here, Osterioth or whatever, he looks pretty cool. And he's he's clearly on the pot. So uh, be good to each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.